Hello dear students, yet another amazing division trick. This time we will try and divide numbers by 3 mentally. See I have written some questions here and we will be dividing them mentally in decimals. Remember whenever we divide a number by 3, if the number is not exactly divisible by 3, it is a non-terminating decimal. Now, if you have basic understanding of what the remainder can be when we divide a number by 3, then things will be very very easy in this case. Always remember that whenever we have 1 by 3, it is 0 0.333 and so on that means the digit 3 repeats itself after the decimal place. Whenever we have 2 upon 3, then it is 0 0.666. So the digit 6 repeats itself after the decimal place. And that's it. If you have knowledge of these two things, then every calculation will be done orally and the answer will be found in decimals. Now how do you do this? Now see for this we will use the Vedic Mathematics method of uh, dividing numbers. 3 goes exactly 4 times to give us 12, 3 4s are 12 and what remains is 2. So 14 minus 12 is 2. Just write 2 upon 3 because divisor is 3. So we have to keep the remainder fixed at the value 3. And now you know what is the value of 2 by 3. It is 0 0.666. So what we need to do is to put 666 after the decimal place and 4 will be before the decimal place. So 4.66 this will go on or you can represent it as 4.6 bar. So this is 14 divided by 3. Now you can use this, this method for some larger numbers. See 3 goes 5 times 3 5s are 15. So remainder is 2. So I'll, if I put a 2 here, so 23. So 3 goes 7 times 21. So again the remainder is 2. Write the remainder and the divisor will be always 3. So again you have a 2 by 3 here. So 57 will be the number before the decimal and after the decimal it will be 6 bar because 2 by 3 is 0 0.6 bar. Let's have one more. So in this case 3 1s are 3. So 0 is the remainder. So again 3 1s are 3. So 1 is the remainder. So 15 means 3 5s are 15. And now 3 2s are 6. And we are left with only 1 as remainder. So 1 and divisor is 3. So now we have a 1 by 3. So what we do is 1, 1, 5, 2 will be there before the decimal place. And after the decimal place we have a 3 repeating itself. So it will be 3 bar after the decimal place. So the quotient when you divide 3, 4, 5, 7 by 3 is 1, 1, 5, 2. And the remainder is 1. So in decimal form it will be expressed as 1152.3 1, bar. Let's have some more examples. See 12. So 3 4s are 12. 3 1s are 3. 3 1s are 3. So we have one remainder. 15. So 3 5s are 15. Now 3 2s are 6. Again 3 2s are 6. So we have one remainder here. So 1 by 3. So again 4 double 1 5 double 2 before the decimal and after the decimal you have a 3 repeating itself so 3 bar. In this case 3 1s are 3 so you have a 2 remainder so 20 3 6s are 18 again a 2 remainder so 25 3 8s are 24 so you have a 1 remainder 3 5s are 15 again you have a 1 remainder so 1 by 3 so again 1 6 8 5 point 1 by 3 means 3 bar so this is the answer. And finally we have this question, 3 3s are 9, 3 2s are 6, we have a 2 remainder, so 20, 3 6s are 18, we have a 2 remainder again, so 22, 3 7s are 21, so we have a 1 remainder, 
थ्री फोर जर ट्वेल्व वी हैव वन रिमाइंडर अगेन सो थ्री टू सिक्स सेवन फोर एंड वन बाई थ्री मीन्स थ्री विल रिपीट इट सेल्फ आफ्टर द डेसिमल प्लेस सो थ्री बार सो यू सी डिविजन बाई थ्री इज एज सिंपल एज दैट यू डोंट नीड ट्रेडिशनल डिविजन फॉर गेटिंग द आंसर ऑफ द क्वेश्चन एंड द रिमाइंडर इन दिस केस सो इफ यू लाइक इट शेयर द वीडियो एंड सब्सक्राइब द चैनल